Hello, welcome to a brand new video. So in this video today, I'm showing you my Doctor Who collection, which is going to be the DVDs, the Blu-rays, and of course the VHSs. I would show my entire collection, but I am in the middle of trying to find new spaces for them. As you can see on my door, I have actually put some of my Doctor Who cosplays on here. Like, um, if I show you, I've got my Ninth Doctor's jacket for here. I've got the Fifth Doctor's coat. My work of a brand new start of a cosplay which is the cream jacket for Swess McCoy from season 24 and season 25. And I actually am quite looking forward to co completing me 7th Doctor cosplay. I've got me 11th Doctor's jacket and of course my 12th Doctor's jacket. And then of course for the rest of the room I've got like the posters there that are for Star Trek because that is another sci-fi show I do love, a uh, franchise I actually love. My Doctor Who post picture with all the posters. My other poster, which I have actually got signed by Peter Davison, and my Dalek figures are on a shelf on the wall because I just love the Daleks. Favourite enemy of Doctor Who all time, as well as up there. And then that's all my Target novel books with some Daleks there. And then I have me like posters and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to put this on pause and start on with the DVD collection range. So to start off this DVD collection range, I'm going to start off with, with the Lost in Time box set. Unfortunately, this has become obsolete with some of the missing episodes have actually been animated. So I still own it because it is a pretty cool set. So then I've got Doctor Who The Beginning with the Unearthly Child, The Daleks and Edge of Destruction. The Daleks is my favourite story from season one. And I've got The Keys of Manus. The Az Sense the Aztecs, the Aztec Special Edition. So I own the original release and, of course, the Special Edition release, which is kind of cool. The Sensorites, the Reign of Terror, again, Planet of the Giants. My second favorite story of season two, which is the Dalek Invasion of Earth, and then of course Rescue and the Romans, the Web Planet. The Space Museum and The Chase, and The Chase is my favourite story of the season, as this season is the season that has two Dalek stories, serials, it's kind of good. The Dying Middler, The Dalek's Master Plan, this is on CD, and it's actually quite good, I wish they will animate this for some, some point, so we can have it in the Blu-ray collection range, and the DVD, and then I've got The Massacre, The Ark, The Celestial Toymaker, which again is pretty cool. The Gunfighters, The Savages, The War Machines, the best story for season three after the Daleks Master Plan. Then of course, The Tenth Planet, now going into the second Doctor era, aka Patrick Troughton. I've got Power of the Daleks Special Edition, The Underwater Menace, The Moon Base, The Macro Terror, Tomb of the Cybermen Special Edition, the Ice Warriors, The Enemy of the World, The Web of Fear, Fury from the Deep, The Dominators, The Mind Rubber, The Invasion, The Croutons, The Seeds of Death, The Seeds of Death Special Edition, and of course the war games so i'm going to put this on pause and go straight on to the john perry era so jumping into the third doctor era and basically one one of the best eras of the show with john perry aka the third doctor so we have sparehead from space i still need to get the special edition of this one doctor who and the sandlorians the ambassadors of death very good story my favorite story this season Inferno, still need to get the special edition of Inferno. Terror of the Autons, now this one is coming out in the Blu-ray box set for season 8, so I'm quite looking forward to owning the Blu-ray box set, as this has got extended versions of all of these stories for season 8. Uh, the Mind Rubber, again, pretty cool. My favourite, Roger DeGardo, not my, well, not my personal favourite, but it's a good Roger DeGardo story which is the cause of axos and i actually have this on the normal release and of course the special edition release i love the special edition cover this is a better cover than the original i have to do have to say that myself uh connery in space 
The Demons. So that's season eight, jumping into season nine. We have Dev Daleks. The Curse of Paladon. The Sea Devils. The Mutants. The Time Monster. Season 10 now with the Three Doctors original release. The Special Edition release. The original release of Carnival Monsters. And then the Special Edition release of Carnival Monsters. Still need to get um, the Dalek War box set. And then of course I've got the Green Death. Just need to get the Special Edition. So for Season 11 I have Time Warrior. Dinosaur invade the invasion of the dinosaurs, death to the Daleks, the monster of Paladon, the planet of the spiders, robot. Just missing the two arc in spaces, which is the normal release and the special edition release. Then the Suntime Experiment, Genesis of the Daleks, Revenge of the Cybermen, Tale of the Saigons, Planet of Evil, the Pyramids of Mars, the Androids Invasion. The Brain of Morbius, and then of course the Seas of Doom, the Hand of Fear, the Face of Evil, the Robots of Death Special Edition, I still need to get the original release, the Talents of Chiang original release, and then the Talents of Chiang Special Edition. So I'm going to put this on pause and carry on with the Tom Baker era. So to carry on with the Tom Baker era, I have Horror of Fan Rock, Image of the, the Invisible Enemy, Image of the Fandal, my favourite story of the season. The Sunmakers, Underworld, and then of course the Invasion of Time with the special edition elite release of the Key to Time, which has the Reboss Operation, Pirate Planet, Stones of Blood, the Androids of Tara, Power Crow, and the Armageddon Factor. Then I have Destiny of the Daleks, City of Death, Creature from the Pit, the Horns of Naimon. Yeah, Horns of Nine on there, so that one's Nightmare of Eden. I'll just move that down a bit. Then I have the original DVD release of Sharda, and then of course the Leisure Hive. So coming down to the next shelf, I have the new beginnings box set with Keeper Truck and Logopolis and Cash de Valva. Earthshark, the box set I got signed by Peter Davison with Time Fight and Arc of Infinity. Snake Dance, the Black Guardian Trilogy, uh, the King's Demon, the original release of the Five Doctors still in its ceiling, the original release of the Five Doctors which has been opened, the Five Doctors 25th Anniversary, Warriors of the Deep, The Awakening, Frontios, Resurrection of the Daleks Normal Edition, Resurrection of the Daleks Special Edition, Planet of Fire, the Caves of Androsani, my, the best regeneration story of all time. The Twin Dilemma, which is the most terrible story. The Ark, Attack of the Sound Men. Ventures on Varos, the original release. Ventures on Varos Special Edition. Mark of the Irani. The Two Doctors. Time Lash. Revelation, Revelation, Revel, Revelation of the Daleks. Then I've got Trial of a Time Lord. Jumping into the seventh Doctor Era with Time and Arani, Paradise Towers, Doctor and the Barman, and of course Dragonfire. And those four stories are coming out in the next Blu-ray box set after season eight, which is season twenty-four box set. Then the original release of Remembers the Daleks, my the best Dalek story of all time, and the Remembers the Daleks Special Edition, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Battlefield. Ghostlight, Curse of Fenric, and Survival. Then, of course, the original release of the TV movie, and again with the the movie special edition. Then, carrying on with the shelf, I've got Series One, Volume One, Series One, Volume Two, Series One, Volume Three, Series One, Volume Four, and then the original big Tiger's Trunk box set, which is limited edition. For um, I think that's what someone's put it down as on eBay. So, and then I got the re-release of Series 1, which is kind of cool. I haven't gone for the like, slimmer versions because I really can't be bothered with those. Then I got Series 2 from Year 1, Series 2 from Year 2, Series 2 from Year 3, Series 2 from Year 4, Series 2 from Year 5, and then the big chunky box set for Series 2. 
Then I have Runaway Bride, Series 3 Volume 1, Series 3 Volume 2, Series 3 Volume 3, and then Series 3 Volume 4, and then the Series 3 box set. And then with Voyage of the Damned, Series 4 Volume 1, Series 4 Volume 2, Series 4 Volume 3, Series 4 Volume 4, and then with Series 4 uh, box set. And then over here I have The Next Doctor, Planet of the Dead, The Winter Specials with Waters of Mars and End of Time Part 1, and then the box set for the complete specials. So coming over here, I have Series 5 Volume 1, Series 5 Volume 2, Series 5 Volume 3, Series 5 Volume 4, and then the DVD box set of Series 5. And then at the end of it, A Christmas Carol. So coming over here, I have got Series 6 Part 1, Series 6 Part 2, The Doctor, The Widget and The Wardrobe, and of course Series 6 Part, no sorry, Series 7 Part 1. Then over here, I have Series 7 Part 2, Day of the Doctor, Time of the Doctor, Deep Breath, Series 8, and Last Christmas. So going back over here, I have Series 9 Part 1, Series 9 Part 2, The Husbands of River Song, The Return of Doctor Mysterio, Series 10 Part 1, Series 10 Part 2, and then I have Time of the Doc, uh, Twice Upon a Time, and Revolution of the Dark. So that is it for the DVDs. So put this on pause. So jumping into the Blu rays, I have Doctor the Collection Season 10, Doctor the Collection Season 12, Doctor the Collection Season 14, Doctor the Collection Season 18, Doctor the Collection Season 19, Doctor the Collection Season 23, Doctor the Collection Season 26. I have pre ordered Doctor the Collection Season 8 which is coming out next monday so i'm quite looking forward to owning that and then of course i've pre-ordered um season 24 so i'm quite looking forward to that so moving over to the blu-ray steel books i have got the power of the daleks and these are in steel book protectors the macro terror the faceless ones fury from the deep spare head from space sharder series two series three series four Series 5, Series 6, Series 7, the 50th Anniversary, Series 10, Series 11, and then of course Series 12. So for the Steelbox, I am only missing three, which is Series 1, the complete by the specials, and of course Series 9. But these are just awesome, lined up in the steel protectors, staying safe. So, and then going into the other Blu-rays, I have Doctor of the Moving, Series 1, The Specials, Series 8, Series 9. If I can get it back in, there we are. So then I've got Series 10, Twice Upon a Time, and then Series 11, and then Series 12. So yeah, I own... Series 10, 11, and 12 on Blu-ray twice, normal, and then the steel box. Then I've got the DVD box sets here, which is the key to time. This one still got the DVDs because I've got the limited edition. So, and that's, they're just there for spare in case anything goes wrong with the DVDs. Then I've got the Beneath the Surface, Bread for War, Revenge of Sam and Silver Nemesis, the Legacy box set. Time to win then Vegetations 1, 2, and 3. So moving, put this on pause, and I'll start you off with the VHSs. So, jumping into the VHSs, I have Unearthly Child, The Keys of Murnus, Planet of the Giants, The Rescue and the Romans Double Pack, The Crusade and the Space Machine. Unfortunately, the Crusade is missing and it is in the Lost in Time. I'm just waiting for them to animate the missing episodes. The Time Middler, and that's it for Hartnell. For Troughton, I've only got four, which is Tomb of the Cybermen. The Croutons, The Seas of Death, and The War Games Part 1. Troughton doesn't have many VHS releases, so as many as I can get off his era, hopefully I can, they'll be added in. So then into the John Perry era, I have Sparehead from Space, Doctor and the San Lorians, Claws of Axos, Connery in Space, The Curse of Paladon, Carnival of Monsters, and then jumping over to the next shelf. Down here I have Frontier in Space, 
Planet of the Daleks and the Robots of Death. I have ordered myself the Planet of the Spiders. I'm just waiting for that to come for the post. And then for the Tom Baker, I have Robot, Revenge of the Snowmen, Terror of the Zygons, Planet of Evil, the Android Invasion. I do love that artwork for it. It's pretty cool. The Mask of Mandragora, The Hand of Fear, The Deadly Assassin, The Face of Evil, the Robots of Death, and of course, Chance of Wing Chiang. So that's season 14 complete on VHS. Season 15, I have Image of the Fandol, The Sunmakers, and of course, The Invasion of Time. And I have actually completed season 16 on VHS as well as DVD. So I have the Rebus Operation, The Pirate Planet, The Stones of Blood, The Androids of Tara, The Power of Kroll, the Armageddon Factor, Destiny of the Daleks, the original release of City of Death, which came out, I believe, was 1991, and then 2001. Yep, 2001, we had the re-release with this artwork. So, it's like a fantastic 10 years after the original VHS release. We get the, that one, and have Creature from the Pit, and then the Horns of Nymon. And then I have Maglos. The Keeper of Traken and Legopolis, Tom Baker's last source into the Peter Davison era. I have Fall to Doomsday. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the cover, so I am looking for that one. I have Earthshock, Time Flight, Snake Dance, the Five Doctors original release, because they did a special one with, Planet of, with the King's Demon, and then Resurrection of the Daleks. So for Colin Baker, he is the only one I've only got one VHS for, and it is Trial of a Time Lord. It's the Seventh Doctor. I've got Doubt on the Bowerman, Battlefield, Ghostlight, The Curse of Fenric, and then Doctor Who the Movie for Paul McGann. And then this one, I'm afraid it has not got a DVD release, but I think it should, which is The Curse of Fatal Death with Rowan Atkinson as the Ninth Doctor with Hugh Grant, um... Rich D. Grant, the one that plays Slater in Only Falls and Horses is in this. And it's a pretty good, actually, episode. And it's pretty cool, actually. I, I'm glad I got it on VHS. Just wish it had a DVD release. So, carrying on with this bottom shelf, if I just move my tablet. I've got my big finish and neat normal CD releases. So, I've got the Morell Engrave, the toy, the... Death of Doctors, which is Smoke and Mirrors, The Juggernauts, Terror of the Santarans, which is a good story to listen to, and is actually a very good one if you want to listen to the Seventh Doctor versus Santarans. It's actually quite good. Then I've got the 50th Anniversary one, which is Light at the End. Classic Doctor New Monsters. It's pretty cool to hit a Peter Davison against the Rachnos. Then I've got Time War 1, uh, Casualties of War for John Hurt. Down for soundtracks, I've actually got Doctor Who the 50th Anniversary Collection. And then the Doctor Who sound effects. And for storybook audio ones, I have the Grim Cudstalic, something like that. I can't actually say that word, sorry. Then I have the Eye of the Jungle, which is a good one with, with the trio. Rings of Steel, again, which is not a too bad one. For Matt Smith, then the runaway train. This was my very first ever Matt Smith audio I listened to, and believe it or not, Matt Smith reads this one. And it's pretty cool. And then I have the Jade Pilladum, and then uh, that one for Matt Smith. I can't say that word. And then I've got the Sixth Doctor in special edition for his last adventure. So put this. Let's put this on pause, and I'll show you my finals. So for the final range, I own Ghostlight. Wave of Destruction for Tom Baker, Max Warp, and then of course, Death and Queen. So that is my Doctor Who DVD, Blu-ray, VHS, CD, and final collection of Doctor Who. Please do like, subscribe, and share to my channel. I hope you all have a good day. There will be a video coming on some point later on today. I am filming it straight after i've done this collection update and i'm going to be doing a the carry on with the series where i'll do a review last week i did two tuesday and thursday so this will be a tuesday and thursday series 
Well, we last week I did season 12 and season 23. This week, it's actually going to be season series 2 for David Tennant. And Thursday, I'm going to leave that one for a surprise because I'm really looking forward to the Thursday one I'm going to talk about because that is one of my favourite seasons of Doctor Who. So thank you for watching. Please do, as I said, like, subscribe and share and I hope you all have a good day.